Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Chapter 3, Heredity and Environment. The first part of the fact or fiction, number one, no two cells of the human body contain exactly the same material. This is actually true. Number two, not all individuals are born genetically unique. This also is true. Think about identical twins. Number three, all the genes a person has show up as observable traits. This is not true. A lot of us have recessive genes that we're not even aware of. And number four, alcoholism is inherited. This is also not true. You could have a predisposition, but it is not inherited. A gene is a small section of a chromosome. It consists of a string of chemicals that provide instructions for the cell to manufacture certain proteins. Please note that other species have more or fewer chromosomes. Genes affect every aspect of development. They're passed on from parent to child, and specifics of that transmission are intricate and miraculous. Genes describe possibilities. So you could live to 122, but not outcomes. Well, you probably won't. It was once thought that genes were a blueprint for all the development. It's more correct to say that a DNA molecule contains the chemical instructions for cells to manufacture various proteins, and the recipe for protein consists of instructions from stringing together the right amino acids in the right order, which is only one part of determining the course of development. Many genes never vary. Others have several possible alleles. Most genes have thousands of precise base pairs arranged in precise triplets, making the 20 types of amino acids needed for development into human being. What kind of variety can an allele create? Here's just one example, the shape of an eyebrow. So how are proteins made? There's the nucleus, which is made up of 23 pairs of chromosomes. Sperm and ova cells, called gametes, each contain half of the genomes, 23 genes which will pair up in combination in the zygote, the fertilized cell. With enough chromosomes to form two identical sets, the zygote separates, splitting down the middle to form two identical cells, then four, then eight, and so on. Every cell that results from doubling is half the size of the former cell. The zygote grows in a size when it begins to take nourishment from the mother's uterus and then grows into a tiny embryo. By around day 12 of pregnancy, the ball of cells has embedded itself in the mother's uterine wall, and the cells obtain nutrients from her bloodstream. DNA instructs each cell to, build, to grow by building proteins of amino acids. The proteins will function as the bricks and mortar and as the chemical messengers of the body. An allele is a variation that makes a gene different in some ways from other genes for the same characteristic. So what makes a child who he is? A gamete is a sperm or ovum can produce a new individual if it is combined with a gamete from the other sex to make a zygote. Keep in mind that the multifactorial effect enhances, halts, shapes, or alters the expression of genes, resulting in a phenotype that may differ markedly from the genotype. Researchers have found that genes occupy only 1.5% of the entire human genome. What's the other 98.5%? Well, it's considered junk DNA. So a gamete is a reproductive cell. Oops, sorry, that got kind of stuck. The observable characteristics of a phenotype include appearance, personality, intelligence, and all other traits. A genome is a full set of genes instructions to make an individual member of a certain species. A polygenic is a trait influenced by many genes, and a multifactorial is a trait affected by many factors, both genetic and environmental, in expression. In this chart, F1 and F2 represent different versions of a gene. One may be dominant, and one may be recessive. A child could inherit any one of four possible combinations for the parent's two pairs of genes. The chances of each child inheriting one of these combinations are 1 in 4 or 25 percent. 
What makes someone a great actor or successful accountant? A person's phenotype consists of traits that are multifactorial and that they are both genetic and environmental in expression. A genotype is an organism's entire genetic inheritance or genetic potential, while a phenotype is the observable characteristics of a person. So how do X-linked genes affect heredity? If a male inherits an X-linked recessive trait from his mother, he expresses the trait because the Y from his father has no counteracting gene. Females are more likely to be carriers of X-linked traits, but are less likely to express them. Problems that range from inconsequential to major may occur with the deletion, repetition, or transposition in base pairs or several extra repetitions of a triplet, and many genetic interactions seem to be random. For instance, one half of a gene pair may switch off during prenatal development, allowing the other free reign. When and why this happens is unpredictable. Also, the fact that it happens is a relatively new discovery. With deletion of a small part of a chromosome 15 from the father, a child might experience Prader-Willi syndrome and become obese and slow-moving. With deletion of a small part of chromosome 15 from the mother, a child might experience Angelman syndrome and be thin and hyperactive. And this is, these are just, this chart is an example of some genetic traits that we can inherit and inheriting them from the mother or the father's side. Genes create a genetic pool that can be overpowering, extremely weak, or somewhere in between. Alcohol is inherited via psychological as well as biochemical tendencies. These influences can get stronger with age because we make self-reinforcing choices, hanging out with drinkers, changing the brain, based at first on the genetic influences. So binge drinking among 14,000 students in 119 four-year colleges. 44% are binge drinking episodes, and 56% have no binge drinking episodes. What happens to behavior as alcohol progresses from one brain part to another? Environmental factors also influence behavior. So what effect do college policies have on the drinking behavior of college students? When they ban alcohol, there's 39% abstinence and 29% binge drinking. When there's no ban on alcohol, like saying that it's okay to drink alcohol, there's 48% on abstinence and 16% on binge drinking. So policies in the surrounding area can affect your habits. Visual acuity. At any age, the eye will reflexively follow movements, dart back to the center, and repeat that cycle over and over again. The research that used the test you now see showed that infants lack visual acuity for much of the first year. Nearsightedness, or myopia, is a related the, to the Pax 6 gene, but don't forget that environment plays a role. For instance, increased schoolwork may cause nearsightedness in children with Pax 6 allele. No one should be blamed or punished for inherited problems, but ignoring nature nurture interaction can lead to serious problems. What do you know about biochemistry? If you know that alcoholism runs in your family, you may be more likely to say no thanks to having extra alcohol or being put in a position like that. Knowing the importance of the environment can lead to action whenever a genetic vulnerability is apparent. Some 300 distinct characteristics can result from the presence of a third chromosome 21, from facial characteristics to hearing loss, heart abnormalities, muscle weakness, and short stature, to slow language development and or accelerated features of aging. So what's Down syndrome? Down syndrome is, Down syndrome is a condition in which a person has 47 chromosomes instead of the usual 46, with three rather than two chromosomes on the 21st site, resulting in distinctive characteristics. 
This concludes chapter three. Now I want you to go into the forums area and participate in the discussion question. Thanks.